Possibly one of the most lovable characters currently in the league is the All-American Philip J. Kessel. He's funny, carefree, and just an all-around good time. I mean, they don't call him Phil the Thrill for nothing, right? Anyways, while playing in the NHL for over a decade, Kessel has developed some notable bromances that seem pretty likely, while others, maybe not so much. And with that, here are the top 5 players that Kessel loves the most. Number 5. Dion Phaneuf Playing in Toronto can be hard on the nerves. The constant spotlight and pressure to perform can be overwhelming. And the two that were getting the most criticism half a decade ago were, you guessed it, Phaneuf and Kessel. But what better way to bond than going through the exact same thing at the exact same time, am I right? And no one understood what Phaneuf was going through more at the time than Phil, who even took up for his friend and captain at the time, Dion Phaneuf, and ripped the media for their constant scrutiny towards the blue liner. Even after both were traded, the two still remained in touch, and even went out to dinner when the Kings were in town. Phaneuf, even according to Sportsnet, attended his old friend's Stanley Cup party. He's had some times where he's taken a lot of brunt here in Toronto, but I couldn't be happier for him to win a Stanley Cup. And the way he played, he was one of the top players in the whole playoffs. Good for him. Well deserved. I couldn't be happier for a good friend of mine, Phaneuf says. Number 4. Evgeny Malkin Definitely not the typical friendship, as this bromance between Malkin and Kessel to most was strange, but also highly entertaining. Besides the fact that they both resembled an old married couple during the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs, they also had some hilarious bouts with one another via social media. Well, to be completely honest, it was usually Malkin who was getting the last laugh. And a few times he did, including the hilarious prank he pulled on Phil following Kessel, deciding to tweet out a picture poking fun at Malkin's lonely folding chair he had at the time in result of injury. Therefore, the Russian took it upon himself to up the antics while turning his locker into the Phil zone, equipped with all the essentials, including tons of soda and Tim Horton's coffee. Although you could say Malkin forgot the most important thing, hot dogs. Secondly, he managed to film his buddy in the cryo chamber, and also posted it straight to Instagram. I'm sure Phil really appreciated that one, Gino. Once Phil was traded, Mulkin made sure to make a farewell post, and even commented, I love you, on Kessel's separate post that was bidding farewell. Number 3. Tyler Bozak Previous line mates and roommates, these former Leafs grew to be exceptionally close while playing together for over five seasons. The two, while they were roomies, would rarely spend time apart, while going to the movies, dinner, playing pool, and also indulging in a healthy dose of video games. The bromance was so high-key that the two were known around the locker room as Bert and Ernie. We're good buddies, Kessel said. He's probably my best friend on the team. After being the second of the two to be traded from the club, Bozak wrote a farewell letter to the city and team. In it was a detailed account of his friendship with none other than Phil the Thrill. Number 2. Ryan Suter International teammate and childhood friend, no one in the league has known Kessel longer than Suter himself. Both players grew up in the same city of Madison, Wisconsin, where they played side by side for their hometown team the Madison Capitals, that was even coached by the late Bob Suter. I think a lot has to do with being coached by Ryan's dad, Bob Suter, Phil says. He was a big influence in our careers. He was never easy on us and always pushed us. I think me and Ryan, we owe a lot of our success to Bob. But outside of organized hockey, the friends were temporarily on opposing teams alongside their siblings, while routinely facing each other for pickup games. The teams were always the same, with Ryan and Phil's younger brother Blake on one team, with Phil and Ryan's younger brother on another. The teams were filled out accordingly with anyone else who showed up at Capital Ice Arena, including, at the time, Phil's younger sister and gold medalist Amanda Kessel. Little did they know they'd be facing one another on hockey's biggest stage later on in the NHL. Another seemingly unlikely duo was that of Ryan Reeves and Phil Kessel. 
yes, Kessel kinda just gravitates towards guys named Ryan. Anyways, during their time in Pittsburgh, both grew to be decently close. From duking it out on the basketball court to pulling pranks on one another, both guys, as different as they were, found ways to relate. Reeves even cemented his love for Kessel by wearing a custom-made t-shirt, one after hours in order to represent, and Phil's reaction was nothing less than comical. He was laughing. He called me an idiot about ten times, Reeves says. He got a good laugh out of it. He wasn't laughing, though, when you exposed his fear of clowns, Ryan. At least, while he was spewing profanity anyways. 